Hi, thought we would talk about the Punisher Epic Collection 5 Jigsaw Puzzle. The Punisher Epic Collection 5 Jigsaw Puzzle is a trade paperback um, in the Epic Collection series from Marvel that collects a set time period for a particular character. This is 1990 to 1991. They don't release in date order necessarily so you could have volume 6 be a different collection. Anyway, this is your Punisher series and this is sort of the day to day Punisher storyline that you would have in conjunction with the War Journal collection that I previously reviewed on this channel. Um, this is sort of very straightforward Punisher stuff. Uh, you have Frank working with Microchip, he's got his battle van, he's doing his War Journal logs. Um, and he has uh, short to middling length adventures where he will stop a bad guy, whether it's a street gang, whether it's a uh, racist um, small town government, let's say, um, you know, town mayor, sheriff, etc. Whether it's drug smugglers, he don't care. Um, you have character cameos from US Agent in this um, amongst others you get an Iron Man suit battle uh, and he, <laughs> he takes down uh, an Iron Man suit in the way a sensible sort of soldier would he finds the weakness in it and shoots it through the eye hole basically well he throws a knife I think through the eye hole if I remember but he gets him through the eye hole um, uh, he goes up to the Middle East with microchip and they take out a Middle Eastern dictator who I'm sure you can if you know the time period, uh, you can relate to which one they were basing it on, as he's got a great big super weapon that's being built for him, and then he deals with the super weapon creator as well. Just when you think Frank's gone soft and let Guy off, he doesn't. Um, he gets beaten up, he gets bruised, he gets bloody, uh, but he makes it out the other side. This is the kind of stuff that is like a great B-movie action flick, and you do wonder, as I've said with the Garth Ennis and the War Journal um, books I previously reviewed, why on earth they don't just use these as models for either the TV series or films. It's like they always have to make the Punisher more serious than he is because even though there's thousands and thousands of movies about vigilantes and people committing you know crimes with guns and that, when it's the Punisher apparently it, apparently it takes on a whole new meaning and you know it's suddenly endorsing gun crime. Whereas you can just go on Netflix and find a load of different films that are all about revenge, all about people who've you know, had family members killed or lost and they go out on a sort of killing spree. Even Jennifer Garner did a film like that um, that was on Amazon Prime and Netflix. So I don't quite know where the double standard is. But, but either way, they should just take these stories and just put them in a series and have the Punisher be silly and violent and then it would lose all power. Anyway, I would say if you're a fan of the Punisher, pick up this epic collection. I don't think there's any chance these are going to be collected into an omnibus, particularly in light of the current social climate, so you might as well get them while you can. Uh, I've got the previous two volumes on digital. I wish I'd pick them up in the epic collections now because they are more enjoyable to read in this format because they're sort of pick up, read a few issues, put it back down again kind of book. Um, you don't plow through the story because there's no continual story like that. Um, and they do sell out, and I'm not sure what the sort of reprint cycle, if any, is for the epic collections. Um, so it's worth worth getting if you're a fan of The Punisher, or you just want some sort of trashy action film fun to read. Let me know what you think about it. Um, do you think that it's worth getting? Um, do you have any particular views on The Punisher? Do you think we'll make another series or film in the near future? Now all the rights have reverted back to Marvel. Personally, I don't think they will. I don't even think you'll appear as a cameo, but let me know what you think. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.